What's up guys? So today I will be teaching you how to cinematically color grade. To be honest, I see a lot of people having trouble color grading in their projects. I see a lot of projects that have good editing, maybe some good storytelling, but they lack in colors and so their projects look less cinematic and less professional. Now, colors can be a little bit confusing at first, understanding proper exposure levels and understanding the RGB scale. So I completely understand, but once you understand the basics, you can go ahead and start customizing and be more advanced, start making your own, like your own style. Okay guys, so now that we are in DaVinci Resolve, we can get started on color grading. So, if you're new to DaVinci, um, I honestly recommend it. I think it's the best program out in the market right now. It's completely free. Um, it has Fusion in it, which is basically like After Effects, like the equivalent of After Effects. Um, it has the best color grading software. It has a software, a professional software for audio. So I definitely, definitely recommend you jumping on DaVinci if you haven't heard about it yet. So I have three clips here. So these are the clips that we are going to be color grading today. And I actually already cut them up here so we could save time. I have a clip of my friend Shayla um, from a commercial shoot that we were doing. I have a clip of my other friend in an aquarium. So different lighting situations. And then I have a very, very simple um, shot of like my friend just kind of like unzipping his bag. Very simple, but we're going to make it look cool. So. This is the first clip we're doing. So it's pretty much just this. Super cool, super clean, and we're gonna color grade it and make it look very, very cinematic. So we're gonna go, this is by the way, the edit page. So in DaVinci, there's um, pages, everything goes by pages. So you have the, the media page where you import all your media and organize into folders. And then you have the edit page, fusion, which is like After Effects, is motion graphics, color grading, um, audio, and then rendering. So we're gonna go to the color the color grading uh, tab right here. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do when I first start color grading is I like to basically make an S curve. And then after I make my basic S curve, I go on and into adding my LUT and then I adjust the LUT. So how we go about doing that in DaVinci is, so right here, this is actually called a node. So DaVinci works in nodes, not in layers. So in Premiere and Photoshop and you know all those all those other um, programs, it's all about layers. So you know like the layer that's on top will kind of like um, will kind of overshadow all the layers under it. But in nodes, it's kind of like space. That's how I like to think about it. It's like space. So pretty much like everything floats around, and, and it doesn't matter where they are. It just matters about the input and the output. So this is the input and then it will go on to this node right here. You make adjustments to it and then this is the output. And then this will be your final um, your final edit of the picture, basically. So we're gonna add another node. You can do option S, go in here and we'll just make a basic s dot curve. So I'll go in here, make s dot curve, s dot curve, you know, my shadows, my highlights. Okay, so I'll probably leave it at that. So, always say by the way too, with the command S. So already, this is the before and after. So it's already looking good. It's already looking pretty good, you know? Just with the basic S log curve, it's already looking, you know, pretty, pretty good. But we're not done yet. So I'm gonna add another node and then I'm gonna go on to my LUTs. So these are all my custom LUTs. This is a taste of Madu. This is Skyline. This is Ha Ha Ha, Wartime. So these are all pretty much LUTs based on different um, lighting scenarios, you know, kind of different feelings, what you want to give, you know. So for this particular one, let's just go with, um, let's kind of give it like a mystical vibe. So I'll probably go to this one, let's do ha ha ha. So we're going kind of like exotic. So obviously this is way too pink, and this is way too much. So we have to um, pretty much like lessen the power of the LUT. So we would pretty much go here the gain and we would just lower the gain and I'll probably do like I'll probably do like let's say like 40% yeah add another node and now so this is pretty much where we're at right now this is raw basic s log curve and then a LUT and then I would go here I would go here and I would mess with my shadows so I would lower the shadows a little bit Cool. And then my highlights, as you can see, the back is getting changed. And then my mid tones, I'll probably go like more warm mid tones, you know? Not, not whoa, not too yellow, <laughs> not too yellow. 
and then kind of give it like that warm feeling. Add another node, and then I'll go here, mess around with the gamma. Probably, let's see, more blue. So this gives it kind of like that mystical pinkish, purplish kind of, you know, like shadows. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I would do, how I would color grade this, um, you know, this clip. So if you want to do a before and after, we can just go here, versions and original. And then here it shows a before and after. So as you can see, it's, it's a pretty big difference. It's a pretty big difference. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so on to the next one. So this is my friend in an aquarium. So this is um, a bit of a different lighting situation. As you can see. So again, basic s log curve. Go here, s log curve, shadows, cool. So as you can see, this is with the basic, just, just a s log curve. This is kind of what, where we're going right now. So again, another node, save, and then let's just pick a different node this time. Let's go ahead and let's go. Uh, let's go with the taste of my dude. This uh, taste of my dude. This is actually like my own personal nut that I use in all my videos. So again, we'll go here. Key output will lower the gain because it's obviously too dark. And let's go with like let's go fifty percent. Add a node. Now this is obviously too dark, a little bit too dark. So we'll just go to the gamma and we'll lighten up the gamma. Add another node, go to the shadows, go with the shadows, go to the midtones. Let's run with the midtones. Maybe make it more blue. No, make it more like, yes, more yellowish reddish. Go to the highlights. It's affecting this area right here. So go to the highlights. Make it bright. We can even make it like that. More blue, more green. So you can see how it affects the image. I'll just probably make it like just higher. Oh, cool. So yeah. So again, we'll do a before and after. This is the before and after. So as you can see, this looks a lot, lot more cinematic. And this is only with five layers. This is with five layers. So this is with nothing. This is, let's go back to, this is no color grade at all. This is just raw footage, um, 120 frames per second, slow motion, basic s log curve, add in the LUT, but remember, um, with, with the different situations, with the different lighting situations, you know, you always have to mess around with the gain, with the key output. So, LUT, and then this is making it brighter. And then here, finishing touches, you know, with the shadows, the highlights, really make those highlights pop and the midtones. And yeah, this is a, I would color grade and give it that cinematic, um, that cinematic touch. And on to the next one. So this is just a basic, very, very simple shot of my friend opening the zipper, but we're gonna make it look cool. So again, basic s log curve. Not too much. So this is what we got going so far, before, after, before, after. Now we're in the third node, and let's go ahead and add a nut. So I'm gonna give it like this kind of like industrial kind of like New York feeling. So let's do this, let's get industrial. So as you can see, this is way, way too dark and the LUT is way too strong. So we're gonna go to the key output again and lower the gain. Now this, we could probably make it like, let's make it like, let's make it 50%. Yeah, let's make it 50%. Add a node, again, make it more, um, make it brighter by upping the gamma. Add another node. Shadows, not too dark. 
midtones, make them brighter, highlights. I guess I'll give it kind of like this yellowish, yellowish kind of a highlights. So this is before, before adjusting the LUT, after. So again, let's go to a before and after of here. This is before and after. So as you can see, this looks a lot, lot more cinematic and this actually has like that New York kind of city, you know, um, skyscraper kind of industrial urban kind of feeling to it, which is kind of what I was going for when I made these LUTs. So these are all my LUTs. I made them all custom. Um, they all have different purposes depending on what kind of feeling you want to give out and what color, what kind of colors. So looks great. So again, just one more time. This is raw, basic SL curve, adding a LUT, adjusting the LUT finishing touches with shadows, highlights, and midtones. So um, it's pretty simple, you know, just once you get around and you, you, you pretty much like familiarize yourself with your camera settings and how you um, how you edit and you know, what kind of what kind of feeling you wanna portray with colors and stuff like that. It's really not that hard once you get the basics, but this is pretty much like my standard procedure and my standard approach in every color grading workflow. Now, there are going to be some situations where some some clips are way too overexposed or way too underexposed and so for those particular clips you might have to do other things like for example going to the qualifier tool and selecting the color and just editing that color alone or maybe masking out something but that's an, that's a little bit more advanced but this is basically like the old like the general approach of how i personally color grade um all my clips so this has like a, you know, kind of like wanderlust, dreamy kind of feel to it. This has very like underwater, you know, very blue, very cool aquarium kind of look to it. And then this has like urban New York City, you know, so three different looks, three different feelings, you know, three different messages. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much my approach to color grading. I hope you guys learned something from it. If you guys like this or you guys want me to um, do some more tutorials on maybe transitions or maybe um, sound effects or, or shot composition or maybe get even more advanced to color grading, just let me know. But thank you guys. You know, all is love, much is love. So I'll see you guys next time.